Iconoclast, Risk Taker, World Champion. Those are just a handful of ways to sum up Megan Rapino, whose meteoric rise in her sport has equaled the superlatives to describe her. I saw during the World Cup that it was the greatest performance by an athlete in terms of walking the walk and talking the talk since Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I've heard the Muhammad Ali comparison a number of times, and uh, I, I very strongly um, do not put myself um, in that realm, obviously. Different time. The 35-year-old Seattleite hit a whole new level when she took on then-President Trump while leading the U.S. women's national team to a World Cup title in 2019. I certainly uh, had a strong clap back, if you will, so pretty proud of that. She was named the best women player in the world, wrote a book, hosted the ESPYs, and got engaged to fellow Olympian and Seattle Storm legend Sue Bird. Hi, do you have any symptoms? With whom she recently appeared with to help with vaccine distribution as they both train for the upcoming Olympics. She has won gold and had a goal known as the Olympico back in 2012. With all the animosity and the drama, and all the great goals, um, that's my, my favorite moment, I think. But Rapino and her squad have never won Olympic gold and the cup back to back. Why is that such a tough double to pull off the World Cup and the Olympics? I think naturally after winning something as big as the World Cup, you kind of like, we did it, look at us, this is awesome. Um, so you kind of like let your guard down a little bit. This time in Tokyo, you can expect two things. Megan will continue to be a prominent voice, and she'll also try to lead Team USA to a height it has never reached before. This time, uh, you know, hopefully, knock on wood, Sue and I will both be in the Olympics, so to be able to um, hopefully catch some of her games and cheer from afar at the very least will be very special, but looking forward to being part of Team USA again.